Chaos erupting at Bayside Marketplace. A fight breaks out between a large group of young people leading to arrest. And police say at least four juveniles have been arrested in this one, accused of lighting fireworks and causing panic. And now we're hearing from the mother of one of those teenagers. Logan Dennis Christina Vasquez joins us live with the latest. Christina, this was a large group of teenagers. You have that exactly right. Police pegged it at approximately 50. We are also new tonight hearing from a business owner, but in a nutshell, we have several teens now facing some serious charges. I do personalized gifts, so people send me the pictures, we put in the keychains. Bayside business owner uh, Sam Amin says it happens every year during the New Year's holiday. As you see, they're running around, they start breaking things. It was just really bad. A teeming throng of restless teens start roaming the marketplace's corridors. He shot this video before deciding to pack up and leave. It's really bad for business. Like when people start seeing this happening, they just leave. This stunning video of a stream of flickering blue and red police lights stretching along Biscayne Boulevard shows what happened next. A citywide emergency call issued, say police, after a large group of juveniles ignited fireworks at the downtown Miami Mall, sparking panic, disrupted businesses, causing damage. As police escort about 50 adolescents away, take a look. An officer spots 10 to 15 beating a man. The minors take off, police follow, catching up with four of them, they say. Teens between the ages of 14 and 16 who are now facing several charges to include grand theft and assault. And she was like about, with about 40 of his friends. The mom of one of the 15 year olds arrested said her son is a good student who was with his friends last night, but she's not convinced he played the active role police allege in his arrest form. I feel like um, I ain't going to say that he probably didn't do it, but I know he was with the ones that did it, though. She goes on to say that in her view, she wants to advocate to the court that the charges against her son be dropped. But again, we have four teens between the ages of 14 and 16 years old, and all four of them are facing several charges to include felonies. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.